Hello everyone, welcome to a new uh, review of a lens case here. This is the well-known and well-branded um, Low Pro. Um, it's, it's a large lens case that's 13 centimeters wide by 32 centimeters tall, but it's not circular, it's semi-circular. So it's not quite as good as the JJC one that I reviewed earlier. Please do check that out. I'll put links in the description box if you want to see that. Anyway, so basically you'll fit most lenses in, in this case. Um, there may be some limitations because of the, the tallness of these, these cases. So any sort of um, lenses that you've got, you're going to have to reverse the lens hoods to get them to fit in this particular case. So let's just um, have a look at how it's constructed. That's how it looks inside, guys. Um, it's quite decent thick foam um, and it does seem quite a firm and sturdy case. So obviously this is my uh, Sigma 150-600 to 600 lens um, that will fit in there um, but you do have to reverse the lens hood. Um, so that fits no problem. You'll also have no issues with the Sony 200-600 to 600 lens either. Here is the RF 800. Again we're having to reverse the lens hood to get that to uh, um, sort of fit. Um, it does protrude a little bit from the top. Um, let's just see if we can close it though. Um, we'll close. Um, as you can see it sort of protrudes a little bit on the top. Um, but maybe that shouldn't be a major issue for some of you guys. It all depends if you want to use the, the lid netting area here to store um, accessories. If you were to do that then it, it could be an issue. Um, but Nevertheless, it does fit in there quite snugly and fits well. Now they claim this low pro case should fit a 300mm 2.8L lens. Now while it, technically speaking the lens will fit, but with the lens hood reversed, the rubber gets jammed in there and it literally is really difficult to pull out. Um, it, it took me a long time to pull the lens hood out uh, with the attached rubber on. Um, a workaround I found was you could put a plastic bag around uh, the 300 2.8 with the lens hood attached and you was able, just able to squeeze it in and out but it was a really tight squeeze. So do I think this is uh, a good case to use with a 2.8L 300mm lens? No. In. So I won't recommend it for that guys. Um, but looking at the case construction, um, these uh, loops here are made of metal, um, so in that regard it is, I would say, its construction is better made than the JJC one that I reviewed earlier. And if you want to check that out, check the description box, I've put links in there for you to look at this low pro large lens case. Um, but it comes with a basic strap, I won't say, well there's no padding on that, I won't say it's a, an expensive strap they've used to put on there. Slightly disappointed with the fact that it's a well-known brand and they haven't given you a quality strap, so that's a bit disappointing. Um, obviously it has a nice strap strapping system for putting um, a belt on, attaching a belt to this bag. So it has a, a bit of velcro here, like a latch, you pull down lift your, your velcro bit there, we've got a bit of velcro there, a bit of velcro there, so you've got in getting double um, you know the double double uh, the grip than you do on the JJC case. Um, and then you've got extra velcro straps here as well. So you do get a lot of protection if you want to have this attached to your belt. So for that reason yeah, I certainly would recommend it uh, for medium sized lenses but not massive lenses. Um, so we, we will be able to fit many types of lenses in this, such as the Canon 100 to 400 Mark II L lens, no problem. Sigma 150 to 600, uh, um, the Tamron 150 to 600, the RF 800, RF 600, no problem. F11 lenses, by the way. Talk about the F11 lenses. Um, and this will retail for about £54. Um, it is a nice case to have. Um, on you and it does give you a significant amount of protection for your equipment. Um, however I do think it's not very wide um, so 
that's the reason why I wouldn't recommend it for a 300 2.8 lens um, because it is a, a tight fit and I am a bit disappointed uh, to find this out because a, a fellow YouTuber recommended this case for for the 300 2.8 lens uh, that I've got which um, doesn't really fit with the lens hood reversed it, you know you can fit your uh, 300 2.8 lens in without the lens hood no problem however with it it's, it's it's a very very tight fit and I won't recommend it for that um, so again it retails £54 I'll put a link in the description box if you want to go and purchase it um, hopefully uh, you know this back, this video has been informative about how it's constructed um, you know obviously you've got latches that go around straps, uh, sorry, um, straps that go around uh, with buckles attaching them um, and it is secure, secured well on various, you know, ways of how they constructed the bag and put, put it together. Um, so I don't think you'd be too disappointed with the bag. It's just you may be a bit disappointed that they claimed that you could fit a 300mm 2.8 lens in. And to be honest, in my opinion, it's not. It's not big enough for that. Um, so that's just my take on that. Because um, I do have a 300 2.8 lens there. If you want to see uh, a video of me um, trying to fit in and checking it out, um, check out the comparison that I've done between the Low Pro large bag and the JJC large bag. Um, I think that would be more informative if you want to see a, a 300 lens actually fitting. Um, but I, I just won't recommend it for that. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Hope you have a good day. Uh, please, you know, have, have a great weekend and I'll see you in the next one. Remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel if this video was informative in any way, shape or form. Um, you know, so just again before you go, this is the RF 800, fits in there just about. And then we have our Sigma 150 to 600, which is quite a large lens in itself, and that fits in there comfortably. Um, and there's quite a bit of room in there as well, you could put lots of accessories in there, no problem. Um, so, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.